Welcome back to El Paso Elsewhere. I don't have a lot of time today, and so I'm here <laughs> in a padded room where I belong. Uh, no, I've got a bunch of meetings today and stuff. I'm going to assume this is an open invite. So uh, I've only got a limited time. And honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do once I beat this game, because this has been such a great go-to for I just, if I just want some like instant fun action. I can just go straight to this game. And I'm going to need to find... Whoa, whoa, crap. I'm going to need to find a similar game to replace it with sometime. I hear noises like there's still something in here. Wait, why is this guy facing away? Hold on a sec. Nope, he's not real. Are you real? Nope. Nice ammo. I'm just going to assume they're all not real. Okay, I'm starting to waste shells now. Oh, crap. Get dead. Found ammo. So Red of Court is surprised that I'm not in the office. Yeah, so normally on Mondays I am in the office, but today... Uh, Kind of have like a stuffed nose and I don't know. I mean, I, I am feeling kind of sick. Uh, normally, you know, actually this is the kind of sick where I think a person might typically decide not to go to work at all uh, and not to do things like a live stream. But today I had a bunch of just really important meetings that I had scheduled and it would be a giant headache to try to convene the same people on a different day uh, in time for me to do all the work I need to do in, uh, in response to those meetings. So I was like, you know what? I'm mostly fine. I just won't come into the office where I can infect other... Ah! Where I can infect other people. And, uh, everything will be alright. This is one of the first times I feel like I've made an impact down here. Give me painkillers. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm setting the best example, you know? Because people should feel free to, you know, stay home from work when they're feeling sick. But, uh, in this particular case, I just sort of made a judgment call where I'm like, I'm feeling... Not great, but I'm feeling okay. And just the headache for me of trying to compensate for this day being a non-work day was so onerous. I was like, nah, this is worth it. But that is a call people should be able to make themselves. Wait, something just appeared, but oh, there they are. Did I actually successfully? There we go. Okay, I don't have a lot of these bullets. I should probably... Whoa, I'm hearing a lot of, like, garbled noises. Uzi, maybe? What's in here? Oh, that guy. Oh, gosh, two of, two of that guy. Yeah, that's what I thought. When that guy was standing in front of the door, I was like, okay, there's no way that guy isn't real. Ah! What does the X button do? That actually is uh, an important thing that you have to think about as a game designer a lot, is not just which button should do what, but which button should do multiple things and which multiple things will make sense. Like, for instance, standing in front of that door <clears throat> and trying to open it, and reload my gun, I was getting confused about which one I was doing. Because I actually wanted to reload my gun and open the door. I was okay with both of them. But then I ended up op opening and closing and opening the door again because I just couldn't figure out what the button presses were actually accomplishing in time to not undo them. And uh, I've run into that too in State of Decay 2. For this. this is what we've been working towards. Shush, guy. This is, this is what I'm supposed to do. This is the last thing I'm supposed to do. Okay, good. Okay, getting into that door is really hard. There's just so many of these little dudes. Oh, come on. Just let me peek into the door. Oh, there he, there he is. Yeah, oh, you're trying to run away, but you can't. Oh, somebody's trying to sneak through, but they can't do it. Ha ha ha. Anyway, we run into the same problem with State of Decay 2 sometimes, where um, 
I will be trying to jump to get out of a situation, but if there's a zombie nearby, I'll be doing the jump attack on the zombie instead of jumping over the obstacle that I'm trying to get away through. And so, um, yeah, but it's, it's tough because sometimes, you know, it makes perfect sense to have the same button do two things in two completely different contexts, but when those two contexts can be stuck together, then you have to figure out, well, how do I tell which one the player meant? And the answer is usually, to some degree or another, guess and hope that you're right more often than you're wrong by a margin that doesn't annoy the player. All right, so I'm running low on bullets here. Oh, uh, SXO, no, today is not going to be an official State of Decay stream. Originally, we were thinking that we might do one this week, but then, oh crap, I need to reload. Oh no! But then... But then we realized that we needed to yes, change it uh, for various reasons. And so yes, we're doing it next week. So it won't be next Monday, it'll actually be next Thursday just because scheduling stuff. So yeah, so we're gonna be doing an official State of Decay 2 stream next Thursday with guests from Wushu. So take whatever implications from that you want. Though, you know, don't take enormous implications. Um, whoa, this guy, right. Because oftentimes after you do a big update, like, what's it called? Like curveballs. I've got a out there. Oh gosh. We don't talk. I don't. I don't talk to anyone. What the? <sighs> oh ah, got. Gosh, what the heck? Okay, okay, hold on. Yeah, after you do a big update like curveballs, a lot of the time what you really need to do is a smaller update to like you know. Recenter yourself a little bit, fix things that were, you know, problems that were introduced in the old update, and also just sort of keep people, you know, keep people in updates while you work on the next large thing. That takes forever to. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. For a second, I thought it was taking forever to recock that gun. But no. Oh, gosh, what the heck? Okay. I think I might be in trouble. Okay, okay, uh, I was not, for whatever reason, I was not ready for that. <laughs> Barely survived. Uh, so yes, Cogs, uh, I believe, I need, I need to double check actually. Um, with Wushu. So I, I believe that the next step they should contain most of the new names that I've included uh, recently. I There's a slight chance that they could have switched to a staging build before the very most recent list of names. So I'll have to double check with them. Ask them which change list basically went in to the latest update. Oh gosh. Ah! You know what I didn't do? Reload any of my guns. Alright. Reload your guns, idiot. Okay, here we go. Ready? Ah. Okay. So yeah, I need to... Oh, wait, it's still there? What? I thought I killed it. Did I not see it die? I guess I didn't see it die. Okay, where am I now? Okay, same room. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we go in there, let's actually make sure all of our guns are... Oh! Oh, when you die, it automatically reloads your guns? I'm pretty sure if it had just saved a checkpoint there, I would have been in big trouble. But it looks like it... Oh, no, don't you even launch a single puppet. I think she's watching me. It's... 
Oh my gosh. Okay, that guy's moving around so much. Okay, you know what? I'm okay. Switching to gull stock. Take him out in one hit. How did the void make the puppets worse? I don't. I don't know how to do that. Oh god. One more. Okay, you. Die. Who else is there? Was that it? Okay, I guess that was everybody. Wait, no, there was at least one. Wasn't there a knight that went after me? I thought there was a knight. Let me make sure I've got all the... Oh, 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 yep. Oh, he's serious about it now. <laughs> I must have all the ammo I can get. Reload this, and let's go. That only took like 10 minutes. We could do another. Wait, why is it? Wait, what's happening? What are you? <laughs> Wait. That one is different. That one what? Lone gunman? Is that referring to me or am I about to fight something called a lone gunman? Is this is this the fabled X-Files crossover? Ow, 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 ow! What the heck? You're just a normal skeleton. You just took all of me all of my health. Oh, that's just, that's just embarrassing. You know, I'm going to get myself killed on purpose. That was, that was terrible. Come kill me. Something kill me. Kill me. Kill me. I honestly, I sound more in character saying kill me, kill me, kill me than not saying that. Do it. Okay. How about we don't get just murdered by the lowest level enemy in the game? Wait, is this the same? Oh, this is just the same... It saved a checkpoint! No. No. I just... I can't. I can't live with that. Alright. So what is this thing that comes at me here? Some kind of green... Something... Penguin man or something. I can't tell what that, that is. That one's different. Okay, handled that okay. Apparently I'm gonna be bad at this. Where are you? There you go. An unusually stuffed injury. Yeah, we got a lot of ammo. That makes me feel like uh, something's coming. Yeah, Radith Court had the same reaction to the lone gunman. So, so it's an X Files thing in that there's a group of men who call themselves the lone gunman. It's kind of a joke because, you know, they're not lone, there's three of them. What the? Oh crap. They actually had their own series, oh, their own series for a while. And by a while, I think I mean a single season. That was supposed to be pretty good from what I'd heard. I don't, I don't actually know, I never watched it. And I'm probably one of the reasons why it had only a single season. Because I might have been in the audience for it and didn't bother. Whoa. So I should be staking more enemies, by the way, because I am a little... I'm getting close to getting the achievement for staking lots of enemies. I forgot what the number is. But I, it, like, the Xbox is constantly showing me that that's my, like, next achievement it expects me to get. But I keep shooting people, because shooting people's so fun. Oh, gosh. What? These guys are, like, twice as fast as usual. Oh, wait. I can slow time. All right. 
forward or there we go. <laughs> Always need ammo. <laughs> So Red of Court says, I know that was a while ago, but that's the problem these days. I prefer to wait for shows to be done before watching them, but then I'm not giving the show the views and it ends up getting canceled early because nobody was watching it. Yeah, I was really, really sad about uh, Lockwood and Co. I'll go. I'll go. Not getting a... Oh, wait, did she just... Can I go in there? I will in a second. Um, I really love the first series of Lockwood and Co., and was really sad when it didn't get renewed. And, uh, but, I mean, it did lead me to read the rest of the books, and the books are also great. So, I mean, it could have gone worse. This is just darkness. This strikes me as like a dark fog. Which is, you can't really penetrate it with a, with a light. I'll be honest, I don't think this meat is edible. <laughs> ah! It's interesting how they've taken the same basic tools they've always had to make a very different kind of level here. Like, they've always been able to do this. This game has always had fog and breakables and stuff like this. But it's the first time they put them together this way. It's actually a mark of a good level designer, is being able to take sort of the same tools you would use to make something pedestrian and to make something weird that murders people. Using foreknowledge to win a sequence like this, does it always feel great? Because, you know, ah! What the heck? I seriously tried to stake that guy twice and just barely missed. Fine, this time I'm not gonna backtrack. This is really one of the coolest levels I've seen in this game. Oh, what the? Okay. When you come through a door, you gotta kinda just choose a, a direction to look, and sometimes you're wrong. <laughs> Sorry, that was me uh, with my Helldiver's habits. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Nope. What are, what are, what are you? Still not even a harsh word. I really hope we're on the same side. What's in here? Ammo? Another 14 people, all gone, abducted, murdered. We don't know. And the police still couldn't catch them? There was nothing to catch. But you said there were traces. Tons of them. Signs of struggle, blood, muscle tissue. It's just that every time the police tried to follow a lead, it would turn up a dead end. Wow. Yeah. It was a series of cauterized wounds. Without evidence. Well, speaking of wounds, we're gonna take a couple of minutes to tell you how you can stop your time from bleeding out by building your website with PlayFight. Why am I listening to a podcast? Taste, but the show is good. This episode is one of the things that led me here. Okay, freaking puppets. Puppets in the dark! What am I supposed to do with puppets in the dark? Like, I have to keep firing just to get enough light to see them. What? I want to go home too. 
How far back is this? Another 14 people, all gone, abducted, murdered. Oh, is we this? We don't know. And the police still couldn't catch them? There was nothing to catch. But you said there were traces. This was, Tons okay, now I know where I am. Signs of struggle, blood, muscle tissue. It's just that every time the police tried to follow a lead, it would turn wow. yeah. It was a series of cauterized wounds, but for evidence. Well, speaking of wounds, we're gonna take a couple of minutes to tell you how you can stop your time from bleeding out. Building your website with Blink Bite. The joke isn't in the best taste, but the show is good. This episode, that's one of the things that led me here. Come on. Okay, I've never used, oh, slow motion on the puppeteer before? Just because I thought of slow motion as being something I use for like the wolves and the brides, but actually that might be what they've intended me to do all along is to slow it down so I can just like very easily take out each puppet with a hit and then each puppet that I kill refreshes a little bit of my um, slowed time. Which then makes it last a little bit longer. So I can get another puppet. Oh, gosh. This is spooky as crap. Alright. <laughs> I can't die. Not here. Suck that, vampires. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait on. Cut him off. All right, I am starting to, uh, can I shoot that? Hmm. Okay, I've got eight minutes left. Now, last time they introduced a boss type enemy, they didn't actually show up for a few different levels, and I'm kind of hoping that's how this goes. I don't know if I can afford to fight whatever this is. Oh! Looks like I can't actually fight it. Oh, nice. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. He's blocking my shots. Yeah, I kind of know what to do, though. Try this again. <laughs> oh, now I'm on fire. That wasn't cool. Oh crap, I forgot. They need to manually reload these things. Oh gosh. Nope. There we go. No, he's not blocking your shots. Okay, okay, but, but, crap. Heal, heal. Oh wait, did the other enemies leave? Are the other enemies gone? Oh, okay. I thought the other enemies were gonna stick around. I was just like panicking because I took him out at the last second, but then I was still surrounded. Okay, okay. Whew. I think we made it. I'm gonna collect all of my gear. Nice ammo. I guess there's a reason I don't use my most powerful weapons most of the time. So I can save them up for the big fights. Oh, what's going on with you? I guess I did see you. Thanks. Thank you so much. Uh Actually, I'm kind of curious. I thought there might have been a couple of side rooms off here, was I? Not that it matters. This game isn't really huge on collectibles. Nope, I think I just, from the lights on the walls, I got the sense, a uh, greater sense of depth. I thought there might have been more, but nope, this is it. This is the end. Right? It's... Oh, what? 
Well, weird. The trigger was in a weird place. <sighs> I keep expecting her to come back and say one more thing. She was wearing a suit. It was a suit I'd seen before, a classic suit. Her hair was different, long fingers. She always looked good in a suit. You look at a piece of fabric sometimes and know exactly what it feels like between your finger and your thumb. Now she's cold when you're standing next to her. If you're close enough, even through the clothes and fuck me. I miss her. I miss my monster. All right, well, we're going to end it there because I do have a meeting I need to get to. But thank you all for hanging out with me for this short session. And we beat another boss. That was pretty cool. It kind of came out of nowhere. But uh, I think that actually kind of worked out. Looking forward to the next one. So there we go. It's going to be there when it's ready. And I'll see you later.